welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, the next topic in function we will discuss here is categories of function. There are four different categories of function based on two factors. The first factor is whether we are going to pass any parameter from the calling function to the called function or not. And the second parameter is whether the called function is going to return a value to the calling function or not. So, based on these two factors, there are four different categories of function. The first category is function with no parameter and no return value. The calling function is not going to pass any parameter to the called function and the called function is not going to return any value to the calling function. So, that is first category. And the second category is function with the parameters. That is, the calling function is going to pass a parameter to the called function. But the called function is not going to return any value to the calling function. This is second category. And the third one is, the calling function is not going to pass any parameter to the called function. But the called function will return a value to the calling function. And fourth category is, the calling function is going to pass a parameter to the called function and also the called function is going to return a value to the calling function. So, in this session, we are going to discuss the first category that is the function with no parameter and no return value. So, here the function with no parameter means the calling function is not going to pass any arguments to the called function and also the called function is not going to return any value to the calling function. Okay. So, this is first category. So, here since the called function is not going to return a value, we have to use the void function. The return data type for the function is void since it is not going to return any value. So, void function with no parameter. That is the meaning. And there is no data transfer between the calling function and the called function. So, here calling function is also not going to send any value to the called function. And the called function also does not return any value to the calling function. Okay. So, there is no data transfer between the calling function and the called function. And the calling function cannot send values to the called function. That is, it is not going to pass any parameter to the called function. And also, called function cannot receive any data. Since the calling function is not passing any value, the called function won't receive any data values. Okay. Although the calling function is not sending the value, we need to represent with empty parentheses. The parenthesis is must. Okay. If you are sending any data value in the sense, we can place within this parenthesis. If you are not sending means, simply we need to place empty parenthesis. That is must. And the void function, if you are representing the function as a void means, it does not have a value. So, it can be used only as a statement, not expression. And also, the void function must be a standalone statement in calling function. So, this is the example. This is an example to add two numbers. And here, if you are considering, this is the header file. And this statement, if you are considering in the sense, this is nothing but function declaration. So, here, if you are considering, this is the main function. And inside the main function, this is the function call. So, this is nothing but calling function. And this statement is nothing but function header. And this whole thing, okay, this is nothing but function body. We have already discussed what are all the elements of user defined function. There are three elements in user defined function one is the function prototype. Otherwise called function declaration. Second one is function call. Third one is function definition. There are two parts in this function definition. One is function header and another one is function body. So, these and all we should remember. Then only we can understand the categories of function. 
and this complete thing if you are considering this is nothing but the function definition okay so here if you are considering this is the function declaration and here the category of function is the function is not passing any parameter and not returning any value so since it does not return any value we have to use the return data type of the function is void and add is the function name and since the calling function is not sending any value to the called function we have used empty parameter list and the function declaration should end with the semicolon the other name for function declaration is function prototype and in the main function if you are considering we have used a function called just a function call that is only the function name with empty parameter list and in function call it is not necessary to add the data type okay so simply we have placed the function name with empty parameters so when a function is called in the sense immediately control will be transferred to the called function okay and it will execute the complete called function in this place okay simply you need to remember like this here this complete user defined function is replaced here with this one line statement this complete user defined function is now replaced here so all these statements line by line it will execute after completion of this user defined function only the control will be transferred with this return statement represents the user defined completes its execution so immediately control will be returned back to the calling function okay so here if we are considering this is the calling function and this is nothing but the called function so the calling function is nothing but the function placed inside main and the called function is nothing but the user defined function okay so here when this function is called immediately control will be transferred here okay so here also void add since the function is not going to return any value we have used void and inside the user defined function we have declared a and b or the variables to get input from the user and sum is the variable to store the result enter two numbers and store with the variables a and b then add those two values and store the result with the variable sum then using the print of statement print the sum value in the output screen so here we have simply placed the keyword return now once this execution is completed when it reaches to this return statement meaning is user defined function has completed its execution so immediately control will be transferred to the calling function okay so here if you are considering the calling function is not sending any value to the called function and also the called function is not returning any value to the calling function so here both the communication fails here so here if you are considering there is no data transfer from calling function to the called function and also there is no data transfer from the called function to the calling function also okay so this is the category of function with no parameter and no return value the calling function is not sending any parameter to the called function and the called function is not returning any value to the calling function okay so once the execution is over the main function simply it will returns control to the operating system so now the program execution is completed that is the meaning so in this session we have discussed the first category of function that is function with no parameter and no return value in the next session we will discuss the second category of function that is function with the parameter and no return value thank you for watching this video 